This is how we're probably going to start every episode, if I had to guess. Going from the main menu to the story mode to remind ourselves the stages we're in. Even though going to the friggin' description of the stage is kind of spoiler, spoiling what we're about to run into the story, but... Eh. Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Meteor Tech pro premises. I said promises. Whoops. Starting in his palace, it will trade Meteor Tech and run expectantly to a few familiar faces. An old rivalry is about to be sparked anew. I hope so. So far, it's just been running for robots, and Sonic could beat up anyway. Why are we racing against them? It doesn't make sense. Yeah, don't worry about it. Anyway, welcome back, everybody, to more Let's Play Sonic Riders Zero Gravity. This is your host, the MJ 406, and looks like we'll need to watch our step. Well, we are a meter tech all of a sudden. I don't know why we showed up there. Thanks a lot, Amy. It wasn't us they spotted, but they still are rolling in action. Radio. Oh, yeah, we could have fought them. And, well, why well, I spoiled the end of the last episode, thanks to a friggin' demo. Look who's back, and now he can fly! Damn, yeah, I knew they kicked ass. Isn't that a little much? It's been a while. I mean, Hedgehog. it's basically your equivalent of a Sonic rival for the Riders series. No see, then again, I know the series is the last game worth playing. Because the one after this. <laughs> What about his name? There we go, thanks. And of course, they happen to know what's going on around here. We planned to be a right store! We wanted to blow up the planet! Oh yeah, I probably should mention. The voice cast is the same as the previous game, and well, it's basically a lot of the Sonic X crew. Again, I'm not gonna go over it in detail this time. Looks like we'll have to do the reunion later. See you, Jet. But yep. Hey, wait. It's pretty much the voice actors that are around from Sonic Rush all the way up to um Sonic Unleashed. And maybe a spin-off or two after that. Anyway, that's all I'll say. Anyway, we're back in the story mode trying to race. And now the Babylon Rogues are back. Evade the Babylon Rogues and get to the control room. Get first place. Sonic and his pals in Fate Meteor Tech. Yeah, we've read that already. So, the Meteor Tech premises. Now it's time to meet Knuckles, so we can bust our way through things. And I'm racing against Wave. Not that she'll be too tough, but, well, be sure you're on your game. And yeah, certain, of course, characters of certain abilities have certain strengths. Like, Knuckles here, I think, is, well. I said, no, speed is good at being fast and, like, bad at turning and something else. While power can't go fast. And I think they're good at turning, but they can't, um, something they're not good at. You need the bike power to be able to break shit, moron. You need to be able to ride a bike to be able to punch things. Because apparently until then, all you do is just drive into things head first. Still use my head. I don't know why it's not working. Gee, I wonder. And here we go. Time for the bike. I'm in last place. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure I'll climb back into this. No problem. Let's bust some crates. Oh, by the way, the uh, gravity dive controls are... Uh... I'm trying to think what's the word I was going to say. Yeah, they're airplane controls. So you hold down to go upward when you're flying and hold up to go downward, you know. That's how it works. Bitch, get the hell out of my way. I'm on a bike, motherfucker. You can't hurt me, I'm riding a bike, bitch. Apparently that's how it works. Now I'm riding a bike, I'm stronger than all of you. It's got great lower support. That's all it needed, apparently. All it needed was a little more support and it works out just fine. Get the fuck out of my way! Hmm, I guess it'll stabilize him to allow him to actually punch things. Maybe that's the excuse. Oh, God! Yeah, by the way, there are also some things that actually, you know, make it harder for you. So, yeah, careful with that. I was looking right on the wall there, but it doesn't seem that useful. Maybe I'll check it out on the last lap. Because for now, we gotta fly! I think your gravity, your gravity has a wider range of, um, you know, grabbing, you know, 
objects and such when you start it. When you're blasting forward, it'll only go like close to you. So I'm surprised we had to find this. Well, then again, once they knew it was me or tech, I guess they knew where to go. They just had to run the robots to get there. You think the robots would try to redirect them away from it or something? But nope, no dice, just eh. Well, we're trying to stop them. We may as well let them go to our headquarters. Makes it our job so much easier. Wait, you say our headquarters? Oh shit! <laughs> Damn it! I forgot I had to walk the dog. I don't want to run to the boss right now. Really? What kind of idiot would program the robots have to walk the? Oh wait! If it's a bunch of robots that are coming after us. Well, I have a feeling like I should know who's responsible for this. Yeah, I'll worry about it later. For now, let's run away from these fools. Oh, I guess that is a little faster to do that. But yep, just memorize the courses and you'll be able to do just fine. See, look at gravity dive. You basically don't lose any of your gravity points. So, yep, gravity rules all. Chances are you want to use it to make some shortcuts or fly through straightaways and stuff. It does suck though, you basically have to fill up to actually be incompetent the first lap. The first lap just feels like a waste of time actually need to upgrade yourself. The rest of the time are actually doing something. Anyway, let's keep going. Instead of leaving the game preemptively, let's just go on with the cutscenes. I want to say this was the last level I did when I was... Oh no. Oh yeah, this was I think... Uh, maybe I did use, do another level after this when I was replaying the game on my own. But yep, of course, Sai knows what he's doing, Jet! Oh boy! And there he is. Oh man, Windows 11 really sucks! We're still going on at that? <laughs> By the way, get the hell out of the way! Some idiot asshole who's always in our way. Do I look like a ball to you? You'd be more fun that way. Oh wait, he's an egg. How can I forget? What do you mean? I own this company. Oh, what a fucking coincidence! So you're the ringleader behind this one too, Eggman? I am. What else is he doing? He's got nothing else to do. Come on. the only human trying to do anything to you guys. I think it's always to keep you guys in check, I guess. That's been quite well, a you don't not can think about it. As well. Like we'll believe anything you say. Calm down. We go way back, don't we? I'll we go you know. way back. Yeah, I remember. They will punch you even more. Muck, but they appear to be following a leader. A leader? Oh, so menacing. He's got two eyes instead well, of one. Guess for huh. We'll buy that Eggman isn't involved. Didn't realize Cyclops worked that way. I don't so think they do. That has nothing to do with the robots that attacked us. Yeah, you think. Until you realize he knows who this is. Because. So holding out on us, yeah. How do you feel as always, that piece of shit? Everything you know, now. Come on, just punch him anyway. God you. damn it. I guess you wouldn't cooperate if we just beat him up already. All robot activity within my that figures. So, it's an Eggman plot! It feels like he pulls like a Bowser from the Paper Mario games. It was an accident! Oh! The later ones, I meant. Oh. Powered by a giant space rock. Huh. Shut up and listen. It's like if we try to use moon rocks to power up machinery. That's not like a great idea, honestly. Then again, he's insane. I want to take over the world, so I'll get my hands on fucking any garbage I find. The robot's leader is using the world's robots in an attempt to collect these strange stones from around the globe. Not Chaos Emeralds, huh? But why do they need the stones? That even I don't know. What a waste of time. To one another. Or that. What? These aren't just some rocks. They're spoken of in Babylon clan legend as... Ah! 
That's right. Girl, give me back the Ark of the Cosmos. Where the hell did she go? Amy's gone. Storm's God damn it. Then we're finally going to get along the plot, too. Leader's location. Satellite monitor on. Oh, cool. Well, that's a f nice coincidence. Amy. They're all running for the robot leader, of course. So, now we're going to be Amy. Get to Amy right away. Reach the goal in 324. Jet races Sonic to the core of Meteor Tech. Will Sonic be able to cover the source of the rampaging robots? God damn it, Amy. You've got the way of us uncovering plot again. I'm the one to rescue Amy. She's mine. Okay, uh, whatever, whatever floats your boat, dude. Go ahead. Like seriously, I really don't care. <laughs> yeah. I thought you care at least a little. I need to get her out of the picture. What? Nothing. Oh God. Oh no, my speed. Hey, what a on me? You're welcome. Oh come on, Knuckles, not cool. Aha! Perfect timing, bitch! Yeah! And yet I'm still losing. Jesus Christ! Whoa! Whoa! You don't need to come at me in the mace! Oh my god! My goodness! That's one of the weapons you have now? Oh, it's a plug. Okay, so it's an item that basically activates their attack. Okay, I see. Wow! Is that a boat? Jesus Christ! Oh, I guess this would have been a good idea to do. What the? I guess I activated that at a bad time. Okay. Actually, I don't think I did do this race. I do not recognize this at all. Well, now the rest of this game is going to be blind. This is going to be fun. I had to figure out the race is on the fly. God, I love when I have to figure things out as I go. It makes things more exciting, don't you know? It is always nice going into a game not knowing things. I did think about, you know, trying to do the game blind, but I thought doing the whole thing blind might be a little much. But at least we can still have some fun. I just gotta remember what to do to keep up with these animals. You're an animal too! Shut up. I know what I said! Oh. There we go, good trick. Now I'm up here. It's all about remember the trick timing. Like, very... A lot of precision to it. Okay, it was the globe that got my way. Oh, damn it. Oh, God! Ah! Well, that didn't go well. Oh, yeah, just don't you lose all your rings when you fall. Something to keep in mind. I don't need the extra GP anyway. I'm not that much of a bitch that I'm gonna run out of GP so easily. Yeah. Ugh, damn it, I can't time it right! I'm never going to figure out that timing. Well, at the very least, I know how to get through this race of tails. It's all that matters to me right now. Hey, I'm going to fly too! You're not riding the kind of vehicle, Sonic. Screw you! You stay down there like the bitch you are. Ah, oh, crap. Well, that didn't go well. All I do is ride the walls. No, I must beat Sonic! Amy is mine! Dude, I'd say you could have her! Lay off it already! Seriously, take her off my hands! Oh, God! And she's not that important to me! I mean it! There we go! Now I'm doing it right! Oh, it's not feel as fast as I thought it would. That yeah, works well enough. Woohoo! As long as I know how the course works, I'll eventually figure out my way. And not friggin' fly off like an idiot. Oh! Right! You can also do that during tricks. Thanks for that hint! Say, you can also do dra gravity control in the middle of a trick. You won't get any GP from your landing, but if you're full GP anyway. You know? Those make it very interesting how to go route about these. So yeah, just keep that in mind. May need to use your gravity tricks to get to certain shortcuts, even mid-trick. What a dick move. <laughs> Seriously, what a dick move. Oh, well. Works for me, I guess. Now that's taken care of. We got back to Amy, finally. It took you long enough. I need to actually use my weapon! Don't ask me. First it comes flying at me full tilt, and then it just blows up. It blew up? Huh. 
weird. Wait, does that mean... What is it, Tails? Sorry, I need to think it through a little more first. You can't just blindly theorize things! Come up with a plan it first! Oh, I thought you were about to beat up Amy! <laughs> this is what you get for running off, bitch! Yo, Knuckles, calm down! We have her! It's fine! Jeez! I'm not a big fan of Amy, man. You don't need to fucking punch her for no reason. At least come up with a reason first! Oh, no. <laughs> Freaking meddling dumbass. Well, if it came from him, it can't be much. He's pretty stupid, if I remember. Oh, okay! The dumb people know it. That can't be a good thing. Also, I didn't realize you were actually a treasure hunter. I mean, it's the same treasure I keep breaking over and over, but you know. Ah, that would be it. Okay. Leave the directions to me. But they say the star shard is in a sacred chalice deep in the ruins, and getting there ain't easy. Nobody's made it back alive yet. We'll Until now. Next. Yeah. Don't worry. That's nothing new. Exactly. We do that all the time. The rest of our lives go to places we have no idea they're about. We're like, fuck it. We're gonna go. We're gonna go right bare naked the way we always do. I hope they don't make me wear pants one day. Ha <laughs> ha, they fell for my ploy. Well, that figures. Get the sacred chalice in first place. What is the Ark of the Cosmos that Jet seeks? Sonic is chased by the leader of the robots. But Storm is the one at the stove. Huh. Oh, cool, now we're in Chinatown. In See, I told you it was hard to get around. Oh, no. By the way, here are Gigan Rocks. Let's go! I'm wondering how this race is going to be. If I raise my back speed so I don't fall too far behind. Whoa! Woohoo! Perfect trick, baby! Wow. They seem to have actual, like, momentum mean more in this game, which is nice. You actually get momentum from going downhill and straightaways. Huh. Aha! I'm on a bike, motherfucker! This is the ultimate epitome of I'm on a bike. He literally is on it for no reason other than to just be on the bike. That still just seems like the dumbest thing. Like, seriously. Why would you give a thing wheels if you're going to fly on it anyway? There's really no point, if you ask me. Like, seriously, it just seems so stupid. Am I the only person who thinks it's stupid? All right, careful, you don't press A, you get a C. So, yep, you get no GP for that. Just keep that in mind. Do it, Ruin Store! Haha, <laughs> Charles is everywhere! Dude, we need those! Don't break them! <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, God. Well, this is easy for me to get rings here. It does not apply, character, I can activate those, which is great. Oh, God! Um, am I going the right way here? Okay, so there's another note to self. Be careful how you use the gravity powers. You should at least know the courses before you, you know, end up somewhere completely outside your own knowledge or control. Oh, looks like you're throwing more obstacles now. Make it so you don't have power. Oh, wait, I forgot. I'm an idiot. I forgot. The other robot got my way, got to them first. Oh, that's our Kava guy. I remember to hit A this time. I'm doing well. Hmm. Although it does look like certain races are probably more experimental and fun with certain vehicles. And again. Oh, cool. The nothing power up. My favorite. Oh, wow. I got a whole case full of nothing. I love getting nothing. Oh, okay, so you can do the gravity. I didn't even notice the sign still now. There was something I could do. I just didn't really think about it until I went there last. At least all you know areas you can run on walls and stuff. 
And so this game definitely does well, at least. It lets you know that you may need to do certain things or need a certain vehicle to be able to go somewhere. It does help a game like this from not feeling extremely confusing. I do appreciate it. So okay, somebody's like, well, this game's being stupid. It doesn't make sense. That's the sense. It lets you know you need to do certain things in order to be able to do things a certain way. Oh, getting up there would be hard, though. God damn it. I don't see all the freaking gravity control is useful for is just getting out of freaking special areas like that. No, he always uses a speed boost to get to the end of a stage as well. Don't forget that. If you see the end of the laps coming up, just get on, just start that right before you get the straightaway there, and bam, you're good. Okay, so again, side route was faster. Well, again, that wasn't hard. But again, it's a story mode. It's not going to be hard until maybe the last race or the other story mode, which, yeah, don't forget, there's definitely another one in there. We got the Giga Rocks. Good. And, of course, I think you only have the first two races available at the start of the game. You have to do the others to unlock the rest for regular play. So you gotta play single player to unlock everything else. Damn. What a shame. I'm gonna punch this torch. Pissing me off. What's wrong, Knuckles? Or the chalice is gone. The legends say the star shard is supposed to be in this chalice. Did it roll off somewhere in the quake? Oh, there's a shaft down there. Should we go down there? Or... We gonna have to interpret some legend thing. What's up with this painting? Come on, Tails. Lay it on me, bruh. What are we doing here? The divine wings. Divine wings? Yes, the legendary bird that the gods rode through the heavens. Where are all these legends you guys hear of anyway? None of these show up in any other side game. His color is like, oh yeah, I've been reading about this one time. What, you think Knuckles can read? Oh, yeah, he can. I forgot he's part of an ancient people. Of course. The Babylon rogues have all the legend again. Keep reading, you idiot! He read one line, man. Come on! Divine Wings thing is... Right. Babylon Garden. We're going back to Babylon Garden. How wonderful. Congratulations! You have uncovered the mystery! Now die! Oh! Well... Jet, they're both on their way there. Good, you solved the mystery! Now we can finally go there! <laughs> God damn it, revealing the plot made them go to action! Son of a bitch! There we go. Thank you. We, the children of Babylon, seal one star here and another within the great scar, formed in heaven's fall, until the time of the divine wings rising. Divine wings rising. The great scar? Wait, there's more. Come on, man. I'm not that big a fan of Lion King. Lying in the east among earth stained red by the dawn's light. Eggman and Jet were headed east. The Great Scar must be the crater formed when the meteorite struck ground. That must be where Eggman found the plume. Which means the mother computer is probably waiting there, too. All right. Time to go catch up. You know, all these prophecies of legend, I have to wonder, why do these freaking legendary ancient people plot these things this way? Huh? It just doesn't make sense. <laughs> they leave these hints so they know exactly what to do. What the hell? He's already like legends. He's like, huh, we have this scheme for them to figure out like a riddle. I fucking hate ancient races, man. Oh, Meteotech, you call it Meteor. He just stole him from you? Oh, 
sooner or later he was planning to set the robots rampage. That was probably his reason for forming Mediotech in the first place. They just they had a mind of their own, huh? He never gives up, does he? That's his only project! Looks like we gotta storm the place. Oh no, You think I was just sitting around here twiddling my thumbs? Sonic the Hedgehog? I'll use my full name! It's a battle then! First one to nab Eggman gets all of the arcs of the cosmos. Huh? And the title of fastest creature in the universe. Now that's what I'm talking about. Sounds like fun to me. Let's get started. So rivalry races on! It's time for us to battle Jet! Cool! It's our good old seven person race? Where's the eighth person? Is Eggman gonna come out and race us anyway? <laughs> Defeat Jet in the Crimson Tower race. Good first place. The mural in the depths of the ruins refers to divine wings. But why does the stone monument have the name Babylon inscribed upon it? Hmm. I don't know. We're gonna find out. Time for the Crimson Crater. Ooh. All right, bring it on. I hope this. I have to remember. It probably is. I say I hope this game's not like the previous one where the alternate races for the other storyline are basically alternate courses featuring very similar kind of, um, ow, ow, races that were in the first story mode. What the hell? Well, that was a weird idea. Kind of neat, I guess, though. Oh, God! <laughs> well, that was close. Jeez. God, this place is weird. Why is it like this? Why? Why would fly around this place like gravity doesn't matter? It doesn't matter. Yeah, but still. Eh. Yeah, you can't angle yourself upward and downward, by the way. Like I said, the, the whole gravity control thing, you do have a lot of freedom of movement with it. It's just, you know, figure out how to use it. Oh, man, there's a place to cry. I didn't even see it. Oh, my God. There's crap everywhere. Ah. I feel like that didn't work out well. That feels like that was another R button thing. I got you. Let's go. Ah, Jack, get the hell off me. Hey, your speed's higher than mine. That's not cool, man. Ugh. Hmm? Is that something else? Oh, do I have to, like, gravity dive into it, maybe? Huh. I haven't figured out how the springs work yet. There we go. This is my kind of ride. Ugh, it feels really slow, though. Well, it's a shortcut. Dang it, riding electricity, I guess, wouldn't be very fast, would it? Not that I would know. I never thought of riding electricity. That sounds stupid and dangerous. That's what makes it sound so fun, though. <laughs> Stop trying to get me killed, damn it! They keep trying to send me careening off into the abyss. I'm not ready to die yet. Ooh, they got a hundred ring thing there. Look at that. Neat. Yeah, they definitely have another shortcut somewhere. But I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, looks like they're not giving me too many more hints on the uh, gravity dive now. They're just expecting me to figure it out on my own. Which works, I guess. That's better I figure it out on my own anyway. More fun that way we don't know what's going to happen. Dive downward. Oh, wait, baby. Well, you missed, dumbass. <laughs> I want to see if gravity... Using gravity control of the spring would help. Again, I'm just guessing. I have no idea how any of this works. Ha-ha! You can do good shortcuts with this, though. That is nice to know. Backwards! <laughs> I hate going backwards. Don't you hate that when you're trying to do a race and you end up going to reverse? Always my least favorite kinds of dreams. I just go backwards for no reason. Just gotta make sure you don't dive yourself off in a stupid way. Ooh, 100 rings! Don't mind if I do! Ah! Well, it's us for 100 rings. God damn it! Now this race is... Oh no, I'm losing the race. Shit! Oh, no, never mind. I'm winning now. Okay. I got scared for a second. I was losing. 
I'll make sure I win no matter what it takes. Huh, why is it within the floor? Ow! Come on, go, damn it, go! I know Jet's very far behind me, but go, damn it! Can't believe I fell trying to go after those hundred rings. Now I feel stupid. Well, either way. Hmm. I do need to figure out how those springs work. Maybe there's another vehicle we don't have. Oh, maybe it's the, uh... Oh, the game has moved on its own. Damn, I didn't want to do a cutscene yet. Hang on, damn it! Well, let me see what happens. Well, it's the end of story mode all of a sudden. Hey! Those were mine, damn it! All right, now, bitch. Hey, look, there's another one. So this is the master unit. System error detected. All commands canceled. Oh, cool! They're all dead. Awesome. This was your play all along, you idiot. All these years. You know this one plan for years. Time to throw it out the window. Well, at least I got to prove that I'm the fastest creature alive. That's all that matters. From all five power units must have called it down. Only five? What a weird number. Then the legends were right. They're drawn to each other. I get to keep two of them. Actually, you know, you can have them. We haven't settled anything yet. Turning tail and running away, Sonic the Hedgehog. Running away? How dare you? I think I am. I'll be waiting. Running away is the best thing I'm at, though. Running away is the thing I'm best at. Just ask Amy. <laughs> I love running away from commitment. Oh, okay, that's the end of the story mode for Hero. All right. Okay, so it's only six of the races. I see. Oh, there we go. It's the end of uh. So where's you, Gravity? I hope you guys enjoyed it. Wow. All right, that was nothing. Okay, so six six races. Duly noted. I kind of thought there'd be more to you know. That's fine. Oh, that so. Boring! You serious? That was it? <laughs> With the meteor attack to get all these together? Okay, we did it. Alright, that's good. I'm out of here. Wait, we still have our legend to go over. I'll let you do that. I'm getting the fuck out of here. This is gonna be boring as shit. I gotta get ready for turning to a werewolf hog. A what? That just sounds stupid. <laughs> it is. But it's gonna still make a lot of money no matter what. God damn it. But yep, there you go. Sonic Riders Zero Gravity. The plot is, well, that. Why do they make it so the Hero Storm is really just a taste? It's like, so, you interested in all this legend stuff? The plot, how Sonic and friends are involved? And since the Babylon Rogues get to take part of it? Oh, wait, Babylon Rogues? That's right, it's about them. Sonic's just here to race them. Get, the, get him the fuck out of here. This is more about Jet the Hawk, not Sonic the Hedgehog. He you knows Sonic's name is in the fucking title. Whatever. Well, you have story modes literally exactly the same as you've ever written. Just win the races as you unlock them, and bam, you're good. And then you can move on to the plot, and then the plot resolves itself. That was the only somewhat hard race. That was only because I really screwed it up. Huh. You know, now I think about it, I probably should take the time to talk about Sonic Frontiers, since I did do it at the end of Sonic Rush Adventure. This is the only Sonic game I'm going to get to this year, most likely. Eh, you know what? I'll leave that alone for now. I'll save it for the mission mode when I have a lot of time to talk about things. So, yeah, may as well do that instead. Save it when we have time to talk about things. But still, I gotta say, this is still, like, fun. I don't know, I don't... So far, it's... I don't know why. I felt like the original Riders is kind of iconic. It felt like it had a great idea established. The gravity thing still at the end of the day does feel like a gimmick to me. You don't really need to take advantage of it, but if you don't, it feels so plain compared to the original. So it's either dealing with a gimmick that tried to enhance the game, or deal with it as just a pure razor as it was. Huh. Tough balance there, huh? can't really think of the best way to utilize this kind of vehicle setting. Then again, this is around the time the uh, Sega All-Stars Racing Series is coming around. That's where all the good Sega racing games really started going. 
Because I think the first game was coming around this time. I know they started having a lot of, um, like, Sega... I want to say Sega collabs. It's more like they were having, like, spin-off games that kind of starred Sonic, quote-unquote, but had a lot of the other Sega mascots there. The original Sonic Riders somewhat had that with four characters. Then you'll walk through mission mode, or three. But, when you Sega All-Stars Racing, you know, it reminded you that Sega actually care about their other franchises other than just Sonic. At least to an extent. Until Sonic Team Racing ruined that and threw it to the ground. <laughs> well, I'm sure they're working on another one. And again, you got All-Stars Racing Transform, which is probably still the best one from what I've heard. I've only played the first one and only a bit of it because it was free on mobile. But, you know, I played the Sega Tennis one, which was weird. It's definitely a weird attempt to try to be like Mario Tennis. It's not quite as good. And, well, I've heard the All-Stars Racing games are good. I just never got my hands on any of them. Maybe someday I'll look into it. Got another fun series to go into. I have once it obvious to be the hero story mode, you unlock the Babylon one. And we got a Grand Prix finally. And the Crimson Crater's been unlocked. And we have missions there, obviously. Oh, and you get cream for being the hero story mode along with Rouge and Shadow and Magic Broom. Cool, I got the Magic Broom. Just what I wanted. All right, well, that is this long episode because I didn't realize we were going to go through the whole credits afterwards. Kind of thought they were going to save it for the second story mode. You know what? That's fine. So, come back next time. We will start in the Babylon story mode, where the rogues unearth the truth behind the legend of the shooting stars. So, just like the first game, let you be the heroes to beat Sonic and friends to warm up to what the game is and what the lore is about. Where the Babylon story will be going over the actual story of the game, we'll get to see what's actually happening. I imagine there's probably going to be a boss at the end of it again. You know? Why is it that I'm looking forward to it? I have a problem. See you guys in the Babylon story mode when we finally get into it.